Whoa. All right, folks, we're on a Washington State tree tour. I got a guest with me back there. That's how you focus. Here yeah. We are. So I got Kevin Ham with me from Wisconsin. I, uh, I worked with Kevin, shoot, I guess it was like two years ago. I flew out to Wisconsin, worked for him for about a week, and then we went to Guatemala last year together for a project down there. He actually came to town because he has a job. He actually has a job here in Lake Wenatchee, which is about three hours from my house. But anyways, he got here late last night, and he's gonna be working with me for the week. And it's kind of the perfect week because it's, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Uh, it's raining here, and it's raining. It's a two raincoat kind of day. And uh, so I did this job I didn't film, actually I did film this. I did a live YouTube video with this and my uh, my top handle wasn't starting. I took it home and blew out the spark plug and now it works again, my Husky. But anyway, so this is like a contract climbing gig. I spent three days brushing out these furs. Dylan down there, he got everything cleaned up and then he wanted me to come back to chunk them down, which, which would take me two days to do it. And I was like, shoot, hey, can I do it Monday? I got Kevin coming with me. And he said, yes. So it worked out perfect because I got a hand, but this is like the perfect Washington State job. They're just these like hundred. That one's honestly pr probably still 130 feet tall. It's really tall over there, but this is the perfect job. So we're just spiking up these and we're just dropping logs. And Dil this is Dylan's buddy's house. Uh, they have a mill and they're going to mill this stuff up themselves. So I told Kevin, I was like, you know, I've got a lot of stuff filmed already. He, he's going to make like longer videos. I'm just going to do kind of one video throughout the week to show you what, what we do here for the week. But uh, how, how's it, how's, <laughs> how you feeling that you look like a Pacific Northwest tree guy? I'm feeling awesome. Yeah. It wouldn't be right if it was sunny. Yeah. Yeah. We've had so much sunny weather. This kind of worked out so typical. This is really typical winter weather here in Washington state. We get a ton of rain unfortunately <laughs> and, uh, so but we had a lot of sunny weather kevin showed up and now it's gonna be hey, it, it, terrible all week right now, so. yeah now it's not too bad it just got done raining pretty hard but everything's wet and soggy um now i'm just gonna show you the go we're going on a tour of <laughs> washington state so i've got some jobs lined up for kevin i guess uh, we got four jobs lined up so today is just just log flopping is what we're doing kevin's got my 500 i I've got my 661 here. Somebody stole my 462 right out of the bed of my truck while I was sitting in it, didn't even notice. <laughs> so kind of wish I had that saw for these. That's awesome, saw for climbing. But anyways, we're gonna get to flopping and it should be a pretty fun week. Thanks for coming out, Kevin. Yeah, you bet, have a blast. <laughs> yeah, check out Kevin's channel. So he'll he'll make longer videos. I'm just gonna get a few shots here and there throughout the week. He'll, he'll have the better videos on his channel. Kevin, uh, Game of Trees, check out his channel. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be cutting these slightly past center and they'll all fall over the right way i might need to push a couple but that's they're they're, they're pretty um straight sure, up and I'll down just, i'll just mimic your cuts you show me how it's done are we taking one from here or are we going higher uh i was gonna take mine right here i'm kind of aiming for that tree okay i don't know how... probably split the difference between these two the okay yeah i'll i'll go first and just show you how i do this It might have been a little long. <laughs> I'll go up just a couple pieces. <laughs> you ever ran a 500? No, so... You sorry. just pull it, it's already warm. You just pull the pull cord.
it. Hey Kevin, what year did you get Master Arborist Cert? Uh, two, 2004. So he's been a Master Arborist almost 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, 19 years. Yeah, that awesome. was the first year it was available. First year it was available. Crazy. What year did you start doing trees? Uh, 94. Started in 94. <laughs> I, was born, I was born in 92. <laughs> well, the guy, the guy's an animal. Worked, I worked on a college campus in the, the late 80s and 90s doing a lot of trees. Yeah, wow. And then uh, 94, I started doing it on the side while working in a prison. Yeah. And then uh, 98, I worked myself out of prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got out of prison and started doing trees, just like most tree guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have the tattoos to prove Yeah. That. Yeah, that guy's an animal. He's been doing it almost as long as I've been alive. Going up that one, I'm going up this. This was the biggest one here. This look at this. This is a big boy. It's up here 30 feet. It's still big. Whoa, shoot, get stop. up. Big boy. Oh yeah. Get it, Kevin. Woo! Sounds like firecrackers. Yeah. Eagle haven't ran this baby in a while. This is a 261 ported by John's Custom Saws about two years ago. This guy disappeared. I don't know what ever happened to John. This thing runs good. I don't run it very often. I specifically had him make me this for crane work because I wanted something with a 20 inch bar that had good power. Yeah, I get it, Kevin. Nice. That was awesome. Yeah. The Wisconsin man getting after it. Um, anyways, I don't know what happened to John. I haven't been able to get a hold of him in a long time. So I don't run this very often because I very rarely do crane work these days. But this saw is nice for these little trees. thing about this saw is it's got a full wrap handle um, the, for 261 people ask me all the time hey where do you get that there is no John made this he like fabricated the handle I don't know of anywhere you can get a 261 full wrap handle I wish I had a half wrap saw actually now because I have a bucket truck I almost wish this had a half wrap because it fits in the scoured better I put a half wrap on my 462 and then it got still on So here we are, I'm at the top of this tree. This is pretty tall. I want to go big because I, it's just faster and easier, but man, you can't tell, but there's a hillside there. We got a little wood barricade going on, but I want to go big. And they want as big a pieces as we can get out of these because they're going to mill them, but I just have a bad feeling. I'm going to do small. It's going to be firewood. I just told Dylan, like, hey, it's going to be firewood, man. This uh, Maybe we'll get a nice log out of the bottom, but I've just got a bad feeling about that drop zone, so I'm gonna do pretty small pieces. 66. Hopefully Dylan filled this up. Yep, he did. 36 inch bar. <laughs>
36 inch cut up here. <laughs> I mean, I'm using all my bar. Man, this thing was thick. I was using my whole bar yeah. for the last two cuts. <laughs> so it's 36 inches up there. That's a 36 inch bar. Man, they hit the ground so hard you probably can't tell, but this is like a foot lower now. This whole area right here. All right, let's go join Kevin over here. Here goes Kevin. I'm about to head up this next big fat fatty. Nice. that one for ya. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I did that on purpose. <laughs> I'm almost ready to fall this puppy. Kevin's getting after it though. Yeah. It'll be 59 and 50. About longevity. Oh you gotta leave your saw on the ground and have somebody haul it up for you. Oh, you got, oh man, look at. <laughs> I have, yeah, he's giving me a hard time because I have Dylan pull the saw up to me. He's just yarding it up. He's going to be 59 in January. He just, just climbs at that 80cc, 32 inch bar. <laughs> just tree after tree after tree. He's kicking butt. Yeah, look at him go. 59 next month. 59 years old climbing because he wants to <laughs> not because he needs to <laughs> he's got a full tree he's got like three crews he owns like a pretty established tree service in wisconsin he doesn't need to be goofing around out here but he's out here for fun he doesn't need to climb another day in his life if he didn't want to but he but it's cool because that's why he's so successful because he loves what he does that's why he's that's why he's out here <laughs> So cool. All right, one more tree and then we're following these sticks. Get through this side. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, just poking them all. There we go. Finally. Glad to have had you to help me with this job. <laughs> I was this like, would be a long day. Yeah, I was like, man, I gotta go chunk all those furs. It's gonna be so much work. I wouldn't want five. Months yeah, I, I don't think I could. I'd have to. It'd be a two-day ordeal. Last log. those lichens on the trees and I'm like did I just hit my rope oh the lichen yeah oh, totally look like little pieces of rope I know I noticed that in Wisconsin you don't have moss or lichen we have lichens but, but it's, it's different like that. yeah same color as my rope yeah last log flop of the day oh. 
We did it. Taking a break before lunch break before we uh, drop those sticks, but we got steaks. Kevin, Kevin and I are both on this carnivore diet, <laughs> and uh, so we're just chowing down on some steak before we get back after it. But the, the carnivore diet's pretty awesome, I gotta say. Yeah, very awesome. Yeah, I feel great. Now it's time to follow these sticks. I'll get a little bit on my camera, but we'll put the better footage on Kevin's channel. I'll get a little bit with the GoPro, but we'll get the phone footage on Kevin's channel if you want to see that. Pretty big tree. Yeah, it was. All right, one down. Nice. Dylan needs to get some machine in here to move these because we don't want to drop it. And anyways, we're gonna save this one. Dylan will do that by himself. <laughs> One more. Yep. Kevin's nailed every one of oh, his Humboldts little, here. Try to, but not quite. Kevin here has nailed every single one of his humbles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah! Awesome! Nice job! Yeah, every he's done like five humbles. They've all lined up perfect. Almost no cleanup. Good deal. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, nice job. It's a wrap. Yeah, that bag is some better days. <laughs> Thanks for having us out today, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. That was awesome. Out. That was like the perfect job for yeah. <laughs> an out-of-state guy. Yeah. Come help me chunk down <laughs> all these big, huge furs. That was awesome. I know. This is actually some nice wood in here. I know. Yeah, good lumber. That, that's awesome. I just alternated eight, eight trunks we should drop? Yeah. Yeah, yep. something like that. Good eight. All right. Yeah, so me and Kevin, so this is Monday night. We just did all those first decks. Now we're driving up to Wenatchee. So it's about three hours away. It's I think it's central Washington instead of western Washington. So we've got a big pine to take down. So we're going to Wenatchee tonight. We're staying the night up there. And then we're going to cut down. Which is actually Kevin's job. So he flew all the way across the country for this job. So we're just driving up right now. A little bit of snow on the ground. It's been raining pretty hard ever since we left and then we're gonna yeah go to sleep and get up in the morning and do another big tree removal all right day two we are in Wenatchee Washington right in the middle of the state so we're actually going to a job that Kevin got for us might be a little, yeah. no snow at home but this is kind of up in the 
tent up in the mountains, so there might be snow where we're headed. All right, day two, working up here in Lake Wenatchee, and the road is closed to the tree we're going to, so we're uh, we're packing in today. Oh, <laughs> got that on film. <laughs> Should we put it here or just in the middle there? Maybe this is heavy enough to go in the middle. Well, it wasn't riding very smooth for the first guy, so. Oh, sure. Crackle ride. No third world problems here. Nothing left in the Holy I don't know, maybe these Washington guys got something on us. I'm a Washington guy and I feel <laughs> pretty out of my element. We're Nancy guys. Yeah, we're Nancy guys. Our Wenatchee guides. Quite the tree job you got for us here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite the tree job. <laughs> I, you know, I recall seeing a lot of nice trees to work on where I live. <laughs> yeah. Why do we like those people that say, hey, if you need something to film, I got this great tree. Yeah. But you don't have this where you are. That's true. I, Come on. Thank God. We uh we lost here, Kevin? No, he wants us to go around, but I, I got a We're lost. Jacob, there's loss <laughs> and then there's I don't know where I am. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all I lost. needed. <laughs> so we're we're almost lost. Alright. We're here after a long journey. Probably an hour hike. And uh, and one wrong turn one unfortunate wrong turn. Kevin picked a hell of a day to do this tree. There was about a foot of snow on the ground and it's been raining all morning. <laughs> so Kevin picked a good time to come visit. Look at this thing. Wow. Big, big I guess it's a white pine. Kevin's gonna cut this down. And I'm just gonna watch. I don't see any rigging or nothing involved. So this will be great. We brought a lot of gear. Looks like we could have fallen this thing. <laughs> We're gonna follow it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, where, where's he go, Jake? Where's he send this baby? Yeah. Well, at least there's no rigging. There's no rigging. It looks like you'll just yeah. bomb everything. Where you, where you want to put the bowl? The what? You want to leave a habitat trunk? Man. Yeah, I mean, this thing is fat daddy. They, I don't know if they want a habitat. Or, like, do they want this on the ground or do they want a big spar? Yeah. Personally, I would want a spar so I didn't have to deal with all that more wood. Yeah, it looks like you can just crash everything down. Line is 15 feet, so we'll see. <laughs> and you didn't bring yours out here, did you? Sorry, I did. <laughs> so, what you saying I didn't, is, I didn't pack an extra flip line, no. This is already is, my flip line. I need to now get out my throw line. <laughs> you might have to do the climbing line as your flip line. If I hug it? I don't, I don't think so. You might have to, uh, you just hold it for six yeah, feet and, the, and then you. When I get up here. Yeah. Oh man, are you taking the climbing line or just? I can put one of my uh, my slings. You taking a climbing line with you? Yes. Can you go get Where's there? The, yeah. Maxing out that 15 foot foot line. I mean, not even maxing out, he had to extend it. What a beast. Ugh. Yeah, I get it, Kevin. Do I look like a West Coast tree? Yeah, that's a West Coast tree if I've ever seen one. Oh, right. Yeah, tall tree. Forest Products Laboratory yeah. in Madison, Wisconsin. And they would have scientific nerd. data on its density and everything else. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine's just flying, but I'm not going to look at it. Oh. It's a real gas burner, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, when when it's full throttle, it, it guzzles, yeah. Getting up there. So 
Will we, will we do that like with a regular notch and back cut or? I think so. Plunge cut or what? I mean, I'm starting to lean to that. We'll go clear. Kevin's rope. So he's pulling up his line. He's gonna lower his saw down. He had 150 feet of rope. He had 15 feet on the ground. So he's 135 feet up right now. He's way the heck up there. And he's got 20 feet of top above him. So 155, 160 foot. My hands are so numb. I haven't been doing anything. I barely opened this carabiner. I think that's how he wants it. Oh my gosh, I can barely do this carabiner. I don't know if I've ever been this cold on a job site, rain and snow. So Kevin's rope is sh short, so I can't really pull it up for him. He's got to yard that thing up, 135 feet. Take this top. That is, that top might be 30 feet, man. Probably 160 foot tree. And he is way up there. Oh, oh. Nice job, Kevin. Thirty-six inch Samara light car. Uh, Kevin, yeah. if you want, you could probably just do one more cut, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What saw would you want? You want me to bring that 088 up here, that's right. Well, part of me does, just because you made me carry it. I can haul it up here. <laughs> but the other part of me thinks you'd probably like this 36 inch bar better. First. Hey, buddy, you had to carry it all the way in here. I'll carry it up to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me make sure it's running good then. All I'm trying to figure out is, do I come down and walk up with it, or do I haul it up by hand? Well, you're going to cut it about 25 feet, right? If you cut it at like 25 feet up and just aim for this log right here, I, I think it'd be great. It'll, it'll... I think it'll land flat. Okay. Because you're cutting it just past all that rotten stuff, it won't you know? Get tipped over. What's that? It won't even get tipped over. No, because the piece you cut is going to be longer than the piece you're standing on. Yeah, just basically felling it from about 20, 25 feet off the ground. Because it leans in a nice, it leans in the perfect direction too. But I'll, I'll cut this up. So you are going to want the 88 though. Yeah, I, I, why don't I whittle away the notch with this? And I'll do the back cut with the 088. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe not. To be honest, this Husky would be the one to use. I, I, I understand that, but you know, I, I'm never coming back here. You That's know, true. I mean, you, you could, you could do it with it. One time hit, one time wonder. You're, you're welcome to use it. Well, I'm going to cut this log up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like well, frozen on there. I eight hours and kicked you out. <laughs> um, will, we, will you rotate the chain? <laughs> let me try this. Well, that might actually. Uh, yeah. This, this is actually a first for me. Uh, <laughs> a lot of firsts today. Uh, it's probably too far. Oh, you know what? It's a chain. There you yeah, go. Okay. All right. Let's see if this thing is cutting good. 50 inch bar.
Why is it doing that? That doesn't sound right. Hopefully it just needs to warm up more. <laughs> What, what happened? Equipment failure. Let me uh, let me pull it up with my arms. My arms don't tend to break off. <laughs> okay. I was trying to pull it with my hand, and you started yarding it, and it wasn't on a pulley. It was on an accessory. Oh. So my my muscles broke the carabiner. That carnivore diet. Yeah. If I'm pulling something up, it's got to be really heavy rigging. Yeah. All right, round two. I was running my biggest saw up there. It's my 88, 50 inch bar, 120 cc's. It's like holding a dirt bike. Making a lot of bar too. Kevin had the worst gaff out. 88 died, he went to start it. Oh, nasty gaff out. You all right? Other accessories here, dude. Man, that looked rough. Get off of there. Uh, you can push the compression button to make it easier. What? On the top of the saw, that little black button. Where do I want this black switch? It, uh, to squeeze the trigger, it, it's kind of like in the middle. I don't know how to explain it. Uh. Nice job, buddy. It's a big piece of wood. Brutal. <laughs> Man, this thing is thick. Look at the hole it made. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely made that worse. Nice job, buddy. Thanks, man. up on the sleds. How about get a hike? Hike out of here. All right, back to the truck. That was quite the adventure for that tree. Whew. Kevin sure picked a heck of a spot to find a tree job. 